All right, guys. It's March 20th, and I'm going to find a white blaze. <laughs> I've been on the trail for like three miles and I'm already into another state to Virginia. I guess now might be a good time to address a few questions um, that I've gotten from a lot of people, um, mostly about my cat. <laughs> um, Makita is not with me. Unfortunately, um, she's a great hiker, but I've actually not had the chance to take her out camping yet um, So I don't know how she would do overnight But the main reason that she's not on the A2 with me is because of how much it rains on this trail My cat does not like being wet. Surprise surprise. It's a very, you know, cat thing to not like so um, I decided to not bring her um, She's staying with my parents back in New Mexico um, and this will be the longest I've gone without her since adopting her, and I already miss her. <laughs> Day one is in the books. Um, hiked from Harper's Ferry to Blackburn um, Trail Center. Um, it's closed, but there's water and there's pavilions, and I think I'm gonna set my hammock up under the pavilion. Um, so it was about 12 miles, uh, which was a little more than I was originally planning on doing, but that's okay. I made myself some dinner, and it's gonna be a good night. I don't think I could have gotten a more perfect first day. It was sunny, uh, it was, I have no idea what the temperature was, but it wasn't too hot, and it was just gorgeous today. Ugh, it was a great first day. Good morning, everybody. I had a really good first night. Um, I think it got down to 23 degrees last night, but I was warm and toasty in my sleeping bag. Um, but yeah, it's sunny. The birds are singing. It's gonna be a good day. The first map I've come across. There I am. Started in Harper's Ferry. Hey, there's a gap between them though. That's something, right? Okay, let's keep going. I'm at the Sam Moore shelter for the night. It's only about three o'clock, but we're done for the day. Morning, everybody. Um, it's eight o'clock. The sun is up. So am I. Um, as I was checking gut hook this morning to see where I was gonna go for camp tonight, um, I realized I'm in the middle of the Virginia roller coaster. So we're starting today with a nice incline. Um, yeah, and hoping to finish the roller coaster by the end of the day. <laughs> that's, that's the goal. Hello! You're awfully cute. So guys, I am hiking southbound currently. I am doing what's called a flip-flop. For those of you who don't know, um, there are three different ways you can do a thru-hike. Well, I'm sure there's more. There's three main ways you can do a thru-hike. Um, one is to go straight northbound, so from Springer Mountain in Georgia all the way up to Katahdin, or straight southbound from Katahdin down to Springer, or you do what I'm doing and do a flip-flop. So I started about halfway at Harper's Ferry and I'm going south. So I'm hiking down to Georgia. When I get to Georgia, I will flip back up to Harper's Ferry. So I'll probably fly up to DC, take a train over to Harper's Ferry, and then I will hike north to Katahdin. So that's why it's called the flip-flop. I decided to do a flip-flop for a couple different reasons. Um, one being less trail impact. Um, there's a lot of people that do straight northbound and they start from Springer from mid-March to mid-April. So there's a lot of people coming north right about now, which is fine. Um, I think that would have been really cool to meet more people on the trail. Another reason being I had a working interview on Thursday, just three days ago, um, at 
a clinic outside of Baltimore, which is only an hour from Harper's Ferry. Um, so it was a straight shot over to the trail, really easy to get to, but it's been so nice. I like, I, I've enjoyed this um, hiking by myself kind of thing. So um, I think this was a really good decision. <laughs> Made it to the other side. We don't have one of these. The North End, at least I didn't see one. I could have not been paying attention, but uh, I'm off the roller coaster. So I made pretty quick work of the day um, at the Rod Hollow Shelter now. Only went seven miles. Um, could have gone further. My feet don't hurt. My legs don't hurt. I don't have any blisters. Knock on wood. Um, I feel good. Um, I think I'm going to do 14 tomorrow. Um, but so I just decided to hang out here for the day. Um, I have my hammock set up. Just hanging out for the time being. I'm going to sleep in this tonight. Look, Hi. Mom, I made a friend. Hi, Taylor's <laughs> parents. I, I am Westy from West Virginia. We're friends now. <laughs> but not on Facebook. Not on Facebook, though. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is the 4. It is 8 a.m. And I have misplaced my chapstick. Westy! Ka -ka. Good morning! It's Taylor. <laughs> Alright, so, just left camp, um, before I left, uh, Westy prayed for me and my trip, um, which is really, really cool. It's a really good way to start the day, talking to Jesus. I am in Sky Meadow State Park. Here's the sky, and here's the meadow. Two vultures and a woodpecker in the background. I think they're turkey vultures. Made it to Manassas Gap Shelter. I uh, did 13 miles today. It's only 2.30, but this is where I'm going to stay for the night. Um, it's supposed to rain later this afternoon, and I've got a blister, small one, um, that I'm going to take care of. Um, and 13 miles is good for me for today, so... That's the plan for this afternoon. Just gonna chill. Mm -hmm. Happy day five. Uh, that is eight o'clock again. Um, it is foggy. It rained a lot last night, apparently. So says the person who ended up coming to Manassas Gap to share the shelter. Um, I slept like a rock. <laughs> um, but look, person brought stickers. <laughs> Got about 10 miles to do today, going into Front Royal for my first race play. This right here, guys, this is why the cat is not on trail with me, and it's not even raining that hard. <laughs> she would be miserable right now, so no cat made it to Mountain Home Cabin right outside of Front Royal um, right before they were about to drive me into Front Royal uh, for a resupply a guy named Craig called and said that he wasn't gonna be able to make it here like he had planned um, but he had sent himself a box um, and in that box was food and all kinds of goodies um, that he wanted to be available to other hikers that were coming through so half of my resupply came from Craig so thank you Craig <laughs> Oh my goodness, this looks so good. Mountain Home Cabin was amazing. Scott and Lisa are fantastic. This house was built in 1847. It's very old. Um, I'm about to get back on trail and we're starting the shinnies today. I would like to formally apologize to all of the spiders whose houses I have destroyed this morning. <laughs> There's been like 17. Evidently, I have misplaced my contact case. So, there, they're in there. That's, that's what we're doing now. <laughs> So I made it out to Gravel Springs Hut, did 14 miles today, um, and I am in my 
hammock. It's raining a little bit. It's nice and foggy out. I made two new friends. So maybe I'll see them in the morning before I leave. So, good morning. It's day seven. Um, it's eight o'clock and I'm back on the trail. Um, Jammin and Polly and Saturator were just getting up as I was leaving. Um, so say goodbye to them. I don't know if I'm gonna see them tonight because um, I think I'm planning on going further than them, but we'll see what my legs say. <laughs> Polly and Saturated whittled me a hummingbird. You know, one nice thing about walking through the Shenandoahs earlier in the year is that there's no leaves on the trees yet. So even though there's trees, I still get, whew, I still get views pretty much all the time. It's very nice. It's 17 miles, 17 and a half of sun's out, guns out. Uh, I'm tired. <laughs> Good morning from the Pinnacle. Look at this place. Oh my goodness. Uh, it is day eight. I've officially been on trail for a week and I have nothing but good things to say. Move in a little slower this morning <laughs> after the 17 mile day yesterday, but that's okay. That's expected. In other news, <laughs> I lived in England for the last year, right? Uh, and I saw the sun like never. So my melanocytes like don't know what to do with themselves right now. Um, so I'm a little burnt, but it'll tan pretty quick. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, but gotta keep the sleeves up today to get rid of that <laughs> barber's tan. I'm at Big Meadow Campground, and I got here just as it started raining, so I got my hammock set up real quick. It was also really, really, really windy when I got here, um, so my tarp is tied to tree roots, um, so it should be fine for the rest of the night. And I believe it's supposed to thunderstorm all day tomorrow, so we will see about how far I go, or if I get out of my hammock at all in the morning. <laughs> morning! It's so wet outside, and it's supposed to rain on and off all day, so we'll see how far I get. <laughs> I think it'll depend on the weather. Um, but yeah, day nine, gonna hit 100 miles here in like 10 minutes. Okay, this isn't dangerous at all. <laughs> Just stopped in at the Lewis Mountain Campground because it was foggy and raining and I was tired of it. Um, so hung out there for a little bit um, and then it cleared up. Um, got a new weather forecast. It's gonna rain again around 5 and it's supposed to be 45 mile per hour wind gusts tonight. So the next shelter is 12 miles away. <laughs> so we're booking it. Gotta get there. died down at like 4 a.m. Um, I didn't get out of my sleeping bag until 8 because um, it's cold this morning. It's like 28 degrees. But then once I did get out, I had to get on trail, get moving, because it's real cold. So it's supposed to warm up. The sun's out. So hopefully it's going to be a good day. Here's the 900 mile marker if you're going northbound 
which I'm not, so 900 northbound is about 126.1 for me. Stopped at Pinefield Hut for a quick snack break and to assess the damage that I did <laughs> to my ankle, um, I stepped in a hole, um, rolled my left ankle pretty bad, and then tripped over a tree and scraped up my right shin. Um, so that'll probably bruise. We'll see what color my ankle turns. I'm still walking on it okay. It doesn't hurt, really. Um, it'll probably swell up tonight when I stop, but that's for me to worry about tonight. <laughs> So when I rolled my ankle this morning, I thought I broke it. It was really bad. Um, it just freaked me out. But then I walked 21 miles on it. So we're at Black, Rut, Black Rock Hut. Yeah. I have finagled myself in my hammock so that my left ankle is elevated. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice and wrapped and it's elevated. Should be okay. Good morning. Um, ankle update. It's okay. Um, it didn't swell as much as I thought it was going to. It didn't bruise as much as I thought I was going to. I'm slightly disappointed that my shin didn't get more colorful, but that's okay. <laughs> I'd like to know who decided long sleeves was a good idea today. Mm -hmm. It was not. I got in around 2.30. I'm the only one here. Calf Mountain Shelter. I did not see any baby cows on the way up. I had two clementines, an apple, half a peach. <laughs> and tomatoes, mushroom, leek, and cream cheese. cream cheese. Oh my god. It was so good. We're best friends now, right? <laughs> All right. It's 8 o'clock. It's supposed to start raining at 8. But, you know, we'll see. I'm going to try to get to Rockfish as soon as I can. Out of the shinnies. It's so foggy. Um, and it's raining a little bit. I tried to get out early to beat the rain and I did pretty good. Uh, and now I'm just waiting for a ride to Stanimals. So, here we go. <laughs> 